welcome to my channel my name is Donna K Delahaye from the blog he's of Delahaye.com and today I'm taking you to Windsor to see some of the cool things that you can do on a day trip to Windsor from London let's go of things to do in Windsor is visit Windsor Castle it's basically the main draw to Windsor and it attracts a lot of tourists and we're going to be a tourist today <laughs> should know before visiting Windsor Castle definitely book your tickets in advance the castle opens at 10 a.m. and you need to like for me I would recommend going at 10 a.m. if you if you can because people start queuing like half nine in the morning like people are serious about their castle viewing so book your tickets in advance um, I leave a link below where you can buy your tickets from the castle and I would say um, know that you cannot take any photos in the chapel and in the state's room initially i was like what's wrong with this and now i can understand after visiting the state room and the chapel i can understand if they allowed people to do filming and um, take photos oh my god you wouldn't be able to walk because there's so many things on the wall that people would want to photo so i definitely get why they don't allow phot photography and videography in the state's room it was there would be no flow of movement because people would just stop at the beginning and take photos so I kind of understand that and it, it forces you to actually really look at the stuff around and all the display and to be honest I've never seen so many displays of guns knife axes any kind of objects to impale or kill someone is in Windsor Castle like the Queen is packing that heat she come ready for that war like literally <laughs> I was like oh my god so many guns so many like swords all over the castle and either they're in a like circular um, configuration where they're sticking into something or sticking out of something and I do think that someone the anyone who designed Game of Thrones went to Windsor Castle and was like this is what I'm talking about this is how we're gonna set up Games of Thrones production because you, how you see the um, the throne in Games of Thrones definitely they, they like if you visit Windsor Castle you can see the inspiration because they like they come ready for a war <laughs> also you will realize that Windsor Castle is one of the largest and oldest castles in the world and I also think it's one of the best maintained castles because I've, if you live in Europe you've probably visited at least 10 castles throughout different European countries and some of them are very dilapidated even though you pay to see them inside you're like oh maybe once this castle was very grand it was very beautiful but now you can tell that people haven't taken care of it or haven't maintained the castle but Windsor Castle is like highly maintained like uh, the fixtures even if they weren't the original they definitely look after that um, Windsor Castle you can very much tell it's very well maintained one thing to note is that Windsor is Windsor Castle is actually the Queen's weekend residence like her holiday home when she doesn't want to bother with us Londoners and when you see the flag flying above there's a special flag that flies when the Queen is actually in Windsor Castle and today it was there so I think she knew I was coming so she got ready <laughs> While visiting Windsor Castle, you can also do a tour of St. George's Chapel. And I would recommend doing a tour of St. George's Chapel first and then continuing on with your tour of the castle. St. George's Chapel is the burial place of 10 monarchs including Henry VIII and Charles I and is one of the finest examples of Gothic architecture in England. The chapel is also the church where the famous wedding between Prince Harry and Meghan Markle was held. along the long walk and you can see Windsor Castle just behind me here and basically it's 3.2 miles long in stretch and it's a straight line towards Windsor Castle but let's be honest ain't nobody got time to walk 3.2 miles so I'm gonna walk more or less 
25% of it and then turn back. I've always wanted to walk here because if you're walking straight down the long walk, you can actually get really cool pictures of Windsor Castle in the background. And it's basically the iconic kind of iconic photo of Windsor Castle basically. So I, that's why I want to walk far enough so I can get a really good picture of the castle and the straight line of the long walk leading towards the castle. So wish me luck. There's, literally a lot of people doing this long walk so guys i'm in charlotte street and it's actually the shortest street in britain and there's like a blue plaque to tell you just over there there's a blue plaque to tell you that is the shortest street the measure the diameter of the street and then there's this really cool crooked house um, to the side of it and literally you have to google this street to actually find it it's so small uh, i can't believe it it's like it's like a basically a little walk this is basically the whole street walking here and back there is the street so definitely if you come check it out it's right next to the visitors entrance of windsor castle Another thing you can do is explore Windsor Town. And one thing you'll find about Windsor, it is dotted with little cute shops, one-off antique places, and little gardens, all hidden and dotted around the town. If you want to do a little shopping in Windsor, then you'll find ton of souvenir shops. However, if you want something special, definitely check out the Windsor Royal Shopping, where you'll find all sorts of different shops selling everything from cashmere to English fudge. that you can do guys is take the dock tour when you're in Windsor I think it's the last remaining dock tour in London they used to have some in central London but I think the last dock tour is actually in Windsor so if you want to go from London to water the dock tour is definitely the way to go if you want to see Windsor from a different perspective definitely take a boat trip on the River Thames which is around 40 minutes for a short journey and it gives you great views of the castle plus views of the neighboring town Eton So this is the end of the vlog and that was some of the top things to do in Windsor on a day trip from London. Make sure you like this video and comment below, subscribe, if you've come this far subscribe to my, my channel man and make sure you comment on what other day trips you guys would like me you guys would like to see me go on and experience. I'm all up for it um, and I'll catch you in my next video. Bye!